Do you love a little coleslaw with your lunch or at a barbecue? Well, I have got a German coleslaw for you that is going to take it to the next level. Welcome to Hungry for Travel TV. I'm Carol Yelverton. This is all about a dressing that has no mayonnaise, but it's loaded with tons of flavor. And so German food uh, is often about the sour, the sweet, and the savory. So what I put in uh, to the bowl to make our dressing is um, about a quarter cup to a half cup, depending on how much vinegar you like, but of just white vinegar. Now I'm gonna put some sugar in. Um, so then we've got our sweet and sour elements. We just mix them together right here, let that dissolve. And then I've got just a hair of white pepper, not too much, but just a little bit. Um, and then I've got uh, some of the kind of seasonings you might expect to have in a coleslaw, like celery seeds. We have about a half teaspoon going in here. Um, but I also have dill seed, and boy, does this make a difference. It, um, it's got the flavors of dill, but it's subtler. It's um, almost a little bit more piquant. It's just uh, kind of brightens everything up in a wonderful way. And caraway seed, too. Now, the thing about caraway seed is that this is kind of the flavor you find in rye bread. Um, it's sour. Uh, it's very strong. So we're not going to put as much in. We're going to go pretty light on the caraway seed. So I have just some flakes here. And, you know, again, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. But again, it's just going to hit that coleslaw with that little bit of um, extra seasoning. So of course, we're going to put some salt in and stir that together. And now the thing that really makes this special and gives it um, just a smoothness and a richness um, without the mayonnaise is sour cream. Um, so this is kind of like the killer secret ingredient to German coleslaw. And it makes it really, really tasty and delicious. So we're just gonna let that go. You know what, I have a whisk here, so why not use it? I think it'll make it come together a lot faster for us. So there, we just whisk that all together. Okay, we have our elements. And then we're gonna add our cabbage. So of course we have some green cabbage. So we're gonna get some of that in. And I just shredded this in the food processor. It was super easy to do. That was what I did at 7.30 this morning, which is kind of a unique morning, but whatever. Um, I have purple cabbage, too, going in. And, you know, we just want to add some nice color and nice elements to this. I have my trusty tongs. So I'm going to stir it all around and start to really get that dressing embedded in the salad, in the cabbage. Um, and then I'm going to add another little crunchy element, a little sweeter element, and a beautiful uh, element, a uh, beautiful orange-colored bunch of shredded carrots. So here these guys go in, and then that's it. So we just put this all together. Now sometimes what I do is I'll take a couple of forks here like this just to put it together. I am just going to let this sit in the refrigerator like you would any coleslaw, but the taste on this is going to be so different. It's going to be tangy. It's going to be light. Um, it has that sour cream in it, but there's not too much sour cream, so it doesn't weigh it down. It's not going to be heavy or runny, um, but it's going to have that savory, sour sweetness of German food that is so wonderful. You know, I grew up in New York, and there were these German delis there, and every time I walked in, I was just overcome by the aromas in there, and this is kind of a way to recreate those beautiful smells and of course flavors. So thank you so much for being with us. I'm Carol Yelverton. Until I see you again, stay hungry for travel.